The Rockies hit the third inning swinging, recording five runs and never looking back in their eventual win over the Phillies 10-1 last night. Reporting from the Denver Post Sports Desk, I'm Carrie Ann Keough. John Gray overcame a bases-loaded situation in the first inning, ending up only allowing one run while striking out seven over his seven innings on the mound last night. It was his first quality start since the 1st of September, and with Ottavino and Davis both unavailable, Gray's ability to put together seven innings of quality pitching was huge for the Rockies, especially since most all of the bullpen will be ready and fresh for the rest of the week. Dahl furthered the Rockies' lead with a home run in the fourth off a 96-mile-per-hour two-seam fastball. Phillies left fielder Aaron Altair hit the wall so hard after running through the warning track to try and make a final play on Dahl's hit, you could literally hear his body collide with a wall around the stadium. He would end up leaving the game with a right big toe sprain and a knee contusion. Up next, the Rockies will once again face the Phillies on Tuesday night with Chad Bettis starting on the mound. The race for the postseason is razor thin in the National League, with the Rockies now trailing St. Louis for the final wildcard spot by just half a game. The Rockies need to keep the same momentum they built up in last night's game going all week, so get out to Coors Field, Rockies fans, and help cheer them on into October.